So what's going on guys, my name is Mr. Dalek Jedi, and today I have yet another Cypher video for you guys. There are a ton of Cyphers on Dot Eyes and Thraka and we're not even half finished with them and I can't wait to bring you even more videos on this but today is a really really interesting one and this Cypher resides in the supply room on a desk next to where the Wonder Fizz can spawn and this is by one of the first Dragon Head locations and this one is super awesome. Now, I want to give huge credit to my man Sir and Personio over on the Call of Duty Zombies Reddit. He is absolutely smashing out these ciphers and he's decrypted yet another one for us all to look at. He's decrypted a few more which I've been covering on my channel over the last few days but he's managed to decrypt another one for us all. Now this cipher type is in the 2-1 Amsco cipher type and when we get the plain text for this really cool cipher it says this. I meet the reporter who was to deliver the artifact. He said he was going to bring it on his truck in a crate but when when I arrived, the reporter was babbling and acting wildly, waving a letter in his hand telling me to stay away. The crate containing the artifact had been sealed with some ancient magic. When I told him I must have the artifact and move towards the crate, he attacked me. I acted in self-defense, stabbing him in the chest. Now if you don't realise what this cipher is talking about and you haven't got yourself up to date with the latest in the storyline, this kind of tracks back to Shadows of Evil, but around the map there was a series of different telephone messages from a reporter reporting to a guy called Mr. Rat. Now this reporter was sent to Morgue City to write a piece about the city's bustling nightlife and fear to scene, but he noticed that things were starting to get kind of strange and he started to investigate further on and noticed things weren't quite right with meteor showers, weird fungus is growing which causing everyone in the city to become sick and then talking to the locals about their experiences living in this city and then the final message talks about Mr. Rat having this reporter go and track down these series of people including gathering some sort of artifacts and I'll play you that message now because this is the one that ties in the most with this cipher. Hey Mr. Rat, so I tracked down all the people you asked me to look into I sent you a telegram with all their details, all their contact numbers. But I gotta be honest, I'm getting nervous. These last six months you've had me working like a low-rent private dick. When really, I just want to be a reporter. It's not that I'm ungrateful. I know the checks you've given me have been more than generous for services rendered. It's just all this stuff you've had me do. Tracking down ancient artifacts in the South Pacific. Finding all these strange metals and rocks in Russia. And still... I haven't even met you face to face. I'm, I'm sorry, Mr. Rapt. I think maybe the mood in the city is getting to me a little. They're making me nervous. Antsy. Uh, anyway, I'm looking forward to you finally getting here. Now, since these messages, we've not known anything new about this reporter, so it's very cool that in Dot Eyes and Draka we've got this brand new information here. So in the last message from Shadows of Evil, it says that he's not ungrateful for all the work that Mr. Rapt has given to him, but all he did was he just wanted to be a reporter, and he was saying that he was having to do some really weird things, such as tracking down ancient artifacts in the South Pacific, and finding all these strange metals and rocks in Russia, and he hasn't even met this Mr. Rapt face to face. Now, those last two bits about finding artifacts in the South Pacific and strange metals and rocks in Russia tie in very nicely with our future DLC maps, which I'll bring onto in a separate video. Now, we've not heard anything new of the reporter until this cipher and this cipher makes a ton of sense we actually have had the reporter staring at us in the face for a long long time but we've never known it and if you go upstairs in shadows of evil in the canal section and you look in one of the windows you can see a body with a letter which is labeled m on it and he's got a knife stabbed right through his chest now by putting two and two together we can work out that this is actually the reporter and in this cipher this was just before the reporter died. Whoever the person in the cipher was got angry and in self-defense stabbed him in the chest, which means the reporter is now dead. Now this means that all of this cipher action actually took down in Shadows of Evil. Of course, there isn't going to be any other location where you're going to find this ancient artifact. The summoning key just casually sat on the back of a truck in a crate. But there's been two ciphers, one in Shadows of Evil and now a brand new one in De Eisendraker, which is labeled 
ending with the letter M, which we assumed at first could have been Maxis, but now we can almost assume that M is Mr. Rat. This is interesting as it tells us a brief kind of history look at where exactly the reporter went before his untimely death in Morgue City. We know he started at Morgue City and then there was a period of time where he traveled to the South Pacific and to Russia to obtain some very weird artifacts and metals, which we're assuming we're going to be seeing in the later DLCs, and I'll make videos on those like I mentioned in the near future. But it was at this point in Shadows of Evil that whoever wrote this cipher message wanted to take the summoning key for their own gains, and the reporter stopped that person from doing so, and unfortunately lost his life in the process. Now, he was just under commands from Mr. Rapt himself throughout all of this. He was just a reporter. He didn't set out to Morgue City to go on this crazy adventure across the entire globe, collecting all these different artifacts. He was simply there to look and write a piece about the city's nightlife and culture club. But he got a lot more than what he bargained for when he got in contact with this Mr. Rat. So there's a possibility that this M character is Mr. Rat, but we aren't completely sure. But we still don't know a lot about this character. And hopefully, as time goes on, we get to learn more about this mysterious character, as there are a ton of other things which we're discovering in these cipher messages, which are leading to kind of kind of like ties in the story which haven't really been expanded upon yet, which I find extremely exciting, and I'm so happy. Happy that Treyarch are really listening to us and looking so deep into all the kind of little plot holes to kind of fill bits in. Now whoever this person is in the cipher obviously doesn't manage to get hold of the summoning key as the summoning key is there waiting for us at the back of the crate in the start of the map which we then of course use on the crazy easter egg where Richtofen eventually steals it from us. And that's all we have for the story up until this point but I thought this cipher was extremely awesome and I'm so happy that we now have an answer to a little easter egg in Shadows of Evil which we didn't really understand and now we do. I thought this was so awesome. If you enjoyed the video make sure to give it a like rating I'd really appreciate that and also thanks again to certain Personio over on reddit for cracking this one i'll drop a link to his thread down below in the description so you guys can see how exactly he cracked it but thank you for watching and i'll catch you on another video very very soon